Magandang araw mga ka-CSA. Ako po ulit si Mark Rojas, 27 years old, a registered nurse and a graduating medical student. Para po sa mga hindi nakasubaybay before sa mga previous episodes, ako po ay returning guest ni Doc Contessa at yung ginagawa po namin ay series of combination treatments when it comes to acne scars kasi isa ako dun sa mga kinawawa ng tagyawat ng kabataan ko. So, um, for our review lang, we did uh, PDO in inch threads before with Doc Contessa, one session, uh, three fractional lasers, nagdermal fillers na din kami, at tagnas MD. So today, it's going to be a combination treatment again, laser resurfacing, at saka meron daw bagong threads si Doc Contessa na itatry para sa mga acne scars. So we invite you dito sa journey namin when it comes to battling against acne scars. So samahan nyo kami at tingnan kung ano pa yung mga pwedeng gawin para sa mga acne scars. Good day everyone, welcome to the CSA Certified Skin Authority. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician here at the CSA Medical Aesthetics. So right now we're here with Mark, okay? If you can recall, he was with us for uh, about like a year ago, something like that, and a few months ago. Uh, we have done treatments on the acne scar. We did the recently last time laser. And prior to that was the PDO threads, okay? So, this is now a, a recap of the procedures that we have done and an assessment of the results, yung mga clinical outcome of all the procedures na nagawa na natin in the past. So, you also had three sessions of the fractional CO2 laser and also three sessions of the dermal filler using the Restylane Vital. So, with all those procedures na nagawa na natin, I think about ilang sessions na yon, three, and three, six, seven, eight, probably eight times now. Okay, with that, we've seen a big improvement. So yes, po, opo. Kasi we had before yung mga sunken acne scars and combination ng mga types of acne scars. If you recall box scar scars, merong rolling scars, may ice pick scars, undulating scars, round scars. Okay, so meron tayong mga combination treatments because of the combination ng type of acne scarring. So, hindi po ito yung mga we've mentioned na dekahon lang, na single therapy lang ang magagawa. But then we need other kinds of ano nga, mga treatment modalities. Okay, so sa face ni Mark, prominent yung acne scarring, temple area and cheek areas. Okay, so and looking at the right and left, dun sa uh, right side niya actually malaking reduction na po yung mm -hmm. sa right side okay temple and cheek area and then dito sa left dito pa yung medyo ano pa po marami pa po yung marks yung mga acne scar marks niya so mas prominent pa dito sa left side so temple and uh, cheek area okay but if we gonna analyze or rather look closely dun sa mga scars you will really appreciate po na nag-elevate. Nag-elevate na sila. Okay? So, since nag-elevate na yung mga scars natin, ang next nating treatment mod modality is to just uh, do parang refinement na lang. Eh. I-polish na lang natin yung nasa surface layer. Okay? So, we'll be making use of our uh, fractional CO2 laser resurfacing again. But a certain depth po. Kasi those machines, those lasers, Meron din silang mga levels of or intensity ng kanilang energy. Meron din silang uh, depth kung gaano kalalim yung tina-target mo. Since we're already on the upper layer na surface layer or we say epidermal layer po, we can just reach that uh, layer ng skin natin. And we wanted to do the resurfacing again, the laser again because with that uh, fractionated laser beam na pumapasok dun sa skin natin, somehow natatap pa rin yung, yung subdermal layer, yung may mga fibroblast cells. 
para again nagre-regenerate tayo ng mga bagong collagen fibers, elastin fibers. And at the same time, yung dun sa epidermal pinaka top layer natin since we're trying to also slough off or peel off or exfoliate. Kasi meron din itong like micro peeling or micro exfoliation. So meron ding na slough off dun sa top layer. So we wanted to remove yung dun sa pinaka itaas the upper surface area. So you slough that off and then dun sa baba may nagre-regenerate na bagong mga skin cells. So it's called resurfacing, laser resurfacing. So we're just trying to polish and refine na lang yung skin texture. More of the texture refinement tayo, right? Although may noticeable pa rin ako na scars na medyo sunken pa ng konti. Now with also combined again I have a new thread, it's the caprolactone thread, okay? We'll be using that more dito sa left side compared to sa right side. So we wanted again, threads again to further enhance or stimulate pa rin po yung tinatawag naming uh, formation ng mga protein fibers. And to also tighten the skin, firm the skin, somehow you're also closing the pores and you're also building, building up new kinds of uh, tissue fibers po. So, yun yung ating magiging target today. So, sabi nga namin, uh, we were talking about the series of the procedures. We really wanted to achieve yung desired skin texture that we want. I'm definitely sure Mark would want it talaga na as much as possible clear. Clear na yung skin niya from the scars, from the marks. Talagang gusto mo nang iwanan yung scar na yan, no? No, Mark. Iwanan mo na yung mga marks. Yeah. Hindi sila welcome sa skin natin, okay? Um, Mark, doc, soon to be Dr. Mark, graduating na, no? Okay. So, kailangan mag-graduate na rin siya dun sa ating procedure mm -hmm. ng mga uh, resurfacing na ito. But we will still have to really do series of these kinds of laser procedures, okay? So, hindi po talaga ito nakukuha sa minsanan. Just to inform our ano, uh, televiewers that this kind of uh, condition sa face, yung naging chronic, yung acne scarring, it has to be done in series of treatments. Uh, others have like a mild scarring lang eh. Others have yung parang blemish lang yung marks ng pimple nila, yung discoloration lang eh. The others have um, mga puro parang pitted scars lang. So, cases like that, kung super mild lang, so less number of sessions. So, I had patients before na minimal lang, three sessions, okay na. Nag-clear na yung skin nila. So, we have cases naman, we need really many sessions po. Depending talaga kung gaano karami yung naging acne scars, o yung distribution niya sa face natin. Uh, like the temple area, actually, mahirap din po yung sa temple region eh. Diyan yung mga super malalalim. And take note, uh, we're also careful in treating the temple region because this one, in anatomically speaking, marami din kasing mga structures dyan na uh, we are so careful in, in, in touching that eh. Okay? So, so Mark, anong masasabi mo? Mm, excited ako, Dok. Kasi, excited, oh. yes. Ang laki na ng improvement ng mga right, ginawa. Yeah. Sobrang laki na yeah. improvement, Dok. Pati yung sa PDO. Yeah. Pero medyo nakakurious ako, Dok. Anong pinakaiba nitong bagong Bago. thread dun sa PDO? Yeah. In terms of these kinds of threads, okay, these are absorbable threads hmm. pa rin. And same in mechanism of tightening, firming. In terms of the duration, the carprolactone, hmm. mas matagal. In terms of the longevity, yung effect nila. And absorption time nila, mas matagal. And in terms of the characteristic or feature ng thread, mas flexible yung caprolactone or softer kasi with the PDO so ano siya eh it's really a solid fiber na sometimes we you feel it inside parang medyo na di, di mo ba na feel yan kasi I also had PDO threads mm -hmm. before parang medyo may tumutusok-tusok ng konti kasi napaka ano niya eh uh, hindi siya ganun ka-soft hindi siya ganun ka-flexible yung firm na firm talaga mm -hmm. so yun in terms of the longevity yung feature ng thread yun so, but these are uh, materials that were studied, they were FDA approved, and they're very safe actually. So, ang gagawin natin, combination laser and the caprolactone threads for our acne scar series of management. So, abangan natin yung ating yes. procedure. I'm so excited about Ako it. Din. Okay, mga CSA. So, please do not go away. Watch out for our procedure for Mr. Mark sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. So 
So we're back mga kasiyese. So we will do the actual procedure using the fractionated laser. So we have this CO2 fractional laser. Initially, we start with the so-called analysis of the skin. Okay, so we are Asian skin photo type number four, and then we will treat the scars and large pores here. And this machine has a uh, so-called analyzer. Okay, so it has a two probe here, and then just touch the skin. And it will automatically measure the skin moisture. So yung ating machine po, meron siyang safety parameter. And it will measure po yung water percentage ng ating skin or the moisture of the skin. So Mark has an 81.7% moisture of the skin. That's very good. Actually, at least 50% that's considered normal. So for the uh, water or the moisture content of the skin, at least 50%. Si Mark, 81.7%. So ang ating machine, meron siyang interpretation. So patient skin condition is moisturized. Sufficiently moisturized skin is healthy skin. So healthy skin ka. Okay. So it has a shorter recovery time. So for skin photo type 4, be careful not to cause it. Ito, ito yung PIH. This is the one that we watch out, yung post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation when we do lasers like this. And we are Asian skin phototype 4, we are prone nga dun sa tinatawag na PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, sensitive skin is at a high risk of burn and needs practitioner's care. So if our patients have, they have sensitivity, so we really have to be very careful also. So good thing meron tayong mataas na moisture ng skin ni Mark. So I'll be starting dun sa kanyang um, mostly yung pinakamarami pang marks. So dito. Actually, ano na lang siya, shallow na lang. Nasa surface layer na lang yung ating target. So yung ating density is 1.0. So energy niya, actually yung taas ng energy 21.0. Okay. My technique in doing this is I start with targeting the individual acne scars. Okay. So turn to the right side please. Thank you. So, yung dito sa cheek area, okay, so I'll be targeting yung medyo malalalim pa po. So, I can make this, ayan, single, ano lang po, shots. So, my technique is to target muna yung mga sunken areas po, sunken marks. Okay. How does it feel? Okay, Mark, okay. So, my technique is to target the ind individual scars, okay. Focus muna ako dun sa mga scarring. So, one shot lang for each scars. And then, actually, may active acne pa si Mark. And, you know naman po, ang ating magiging doktor, lagi pang puyat. Nag-duty sa hospital. Isa sa mga nag-trigger ng acne formation is lack of sleep. Laging puyat. Eh, common naman yan sa mga doktor. Okay. So, I haven't covered na yung eye area since I'm just targeting individual acne lesions lang. Okay. And then, after that, we move to the other side. Okay. So, this one, minimal na lang. Okay. How does it feel, Mark? Okay lang na, tolerable. Parang mga tiny, ano lang, tiny ant bites ba? So, actually, the temple region, nung first time kong trinit talaga si Mark, talagang very visible yung pagka-depress ng mga scars niya. Ngayon, ano na lang po, super babaw na lang, discoloration na lang talaga, yung surface na lang talagang kailangang i-correct. Okay? So, now I'll be needing the the goggles cover natin yung full, yung kanyang eye area okay so i'll be shifting na dun sa uh, generalized distribution ng ating fractionated laser beam okay so again targeting the cheek area so i can start on the right side okay so notice lang po squares ang appearance niya so, I can do one pass dito. 
Mark kasi has a tendency to form hyperpigmentation. So, when I do this as much as possible, uh, I am very careful in giving the number of shots or yung intensity ng ating laser or the energy. Although we say the higher the energy, the better, the more effective the treatment will be. Okay, so dito na lang. Okay. And then for my final pass, so if you notice, I'm just targeting yung affected areas. For my final pass, I do the so-called spray thing. So this is a spray na lang. So I can actually spray na all over. So this one also helps in rejuvenating the skin. And actually prior to doing the laser, fractionated laser, we did apply topical anesthesia or MLA cream para magnam yung skin ni, ni Mark. So this is just a spraying of the laser beam na lang. Okay, so we're done with the fractionated laser. Usually, I tell my patients to come back or return for another session, two to three weeks, to give time for the skin's recovery. So recovery period is two to three weeks. Then there will be a needed uh, repeat session na. So Mark will have to return for uh, follow-up two weeks. Now, I'll be combining with the so-called uh, polycaprolactone thread. Okay, we mentioned this a while ago. So again, it's the same technique. We'll be giving more on the rather more on the left yeah so dito i'll be using like five and then this one i'll be using uh, 15 okay so injection point here so if you notice that i have started with the laser muna before doing the insertion of the threads because syempre po napasok muna yung thread hindi naman pwedeng mas, mas subject yung thread natin for some heat from, from our laser machine okay so we can make use of our OS here okay okay lang Mark so after the procedure we tell our patients to do ice compress so this is again targeting yung mga scars natin dito so I can just do like an insertion like this okay so notice lang po ninyo na doon ako sa mga acne scars nag insert iiwan natin siya dermis layer you're targeting those cells in the dermal layer for regeneration stimulating fibroblast cells to synthesize newer fibers po. okay so I'll move to the other side later on I'll be going back to that to the temple region also okay so, same technique din po. So, mas marami pa dito, we'll be doing more thread lifting here. So, again, this is a polycaprolactone third tornado thread. And actually, I mean, to the dermis layer. The advantage of these threads, again, is the lifting, tightening, firming, biostimulation and also regeneration and rejuvenation so actually marami pong benefits tong mga threads na to we love them because they're tissue friendly biocompatible and safe alternative to any surgical procedure spot Nga po, we're doing a series of procedures on our acne scar management and we really want to see a clear skin because we were able to already elevate eh, yung mga depressed scars ngayon yung surface layer na lang talaga yung ni-improve natin so itong type of treatment na to anti-aging din po pambabanat ng skin aside from correcting the surface textures it's very beneficial also as an anti-aging. So, see si Mark staying 20s na lang. So, we will proceed to the temple region. We'll be using the PDO inch threads. Okay, we'll show that sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. Mm -hmm. 
So we're proceeding to the temple region. Okay, I'll make use of the PDO inch thread here. So the technique is just to insert like that. And temple again. Dati talaga sobrang lalim no tong part na to eh. Uh, actually, dito sa atin, goal talaga natin na uh, if we can achieve a, a very clear skin, kung pwedeng glass skin, porcelain skin, di ba? Pimple free skin, acne scar free skin, scar free skin, free of all those unwanted marks. And gawin natin siyang yung very desirable skin. So, or celebrity skin. Walang kamark-mark. I think marami rin nakakapansin na, no? Right. Noticeable. Nasasabihan na nga ako na makinis. Eh. Ay! Yan. <laughs> Actually, nasabihan na daw siya na Para makinis. Na, never naman nangyari dati. Yeah. And we need five here. Yeah, dati daw. Uh, nobody was saying that he has this uh, smooth, smooth, fine skin. Makinis. Makinis. Soft, smooth. Tsaka yung mga pores maging less. Right? We wanted to achieve that kind of naturally glowing, healthy looking skin. Ayan. So we have done combination laser and our threads. Polycoprolactone and also the inch PDO threads for the temple region. Okay. So how does it feel, Mark? Okay naman, look. Okay naman, mm -hmm. right. It's so tolerable. Tolerable. Yeah. And normal to feel some, uh, what do you call that? Yung heat sensation mm -hmm. sa skin from the laser. Mainit-init. Or the others are describing na aside from burning sensation daw, parang may nagtutrub ng konti. Okay. Or parang pumitipitik-pitik ng konti. Then in a little while, it's gonna go away. We'll do ice compress. So every after laser procedure, you have to do continuous ice compress. I recommend yung the first 24 hours as often as you can do the ice compress. And then we advise to hydrate the skin via using mga mild moisturizers. Okay, we have Cetaphils, we have Avene, and all those hypoallergenic kinds of moisturizers or for skin hydration. Okay, even Sebamed, I use that. Okay. So, now, while doing the ice compress, actually, I will also recommend doing the cryotherapy after this. We have that machine with a cooling therapy. Okay. So, expect the redness po. Some of my patients, three days, some five days. And then, yung mga laser marks, they will also fall off in a few days' time, okay? And then I tell my patients to also avoid sun exposure after any laser procedures. So just apply ice comp do ice compress, apply emollients or mild moisturizers, and also uh, avoid ano muna, allergogenic type of food, yung mga malalansa, okay? So that's it. Basically, that's it. But uh, Mark, I think, has a comprehensive exam, so he can still do his his exam in med school graduating na po kasi siya congratulations in advance okay. treat na natin sa kanya <laughs> soon to be dr mark and so basically that's the post of a uh, remedy na in advice namin there are some medications that we tell our patients to avoid and usually before we do naman any procedure we do an um, explanation of ano yung mga bawal after the treatment and even before the treatment before the procedure we already explain ano po yung dapat nating sundan or any kinds of instructions na kailangan po natin yan pre op and post op okay so yan we'll show to mark yung kanyang face for now of course you will be seeing redness and some of those uh, pinpoint uh, whitish marks or parang mga dots and normally, those dots will fall off in few days' time lang. Okay? So, ito po ang ating salamin. Pakita lang natin ano muna yung appearance ng kanyang face ngayon. So far, okay lang naman. Okay. Expected naman na redness yan. Okay. So, we'll tell Mark to follow up with us like two weeks. Okay? So, Mark, do you have any questions? Do hmm. nagawa na natin siya before, Doc. Para lang for the purpose ng mga ngayon yes. pa lang manonood. Right. Ano yung downtime, Doc, ng procedure na ginawa? Okay, this one kasi because of the intensity was not really that much as before. Kasi noon po talaga full face nililaser natin. No? The other, others are really saying na 3 days to 5 days eh. 
they stay at home kasi talagang red ang skin and it has those pinpoint laser marks. So, you back few days lang, they go back to work, yun. And uh, others that sobrang sensitive ang skin, mga one week, ganun. Pero ikaw ba, Mark, nung time mo? Ilang days ka? Um, less than three days. Oh, yan. Si Mark kasi, we vary in our mm -hmm. responses. Some of my patients, uh, slow ano ang recovery nila, mabagal ang recovery ng skin nila, the others mabilis. So, it, it's variable. So, we say three days, five days, or even a week. Okay? Pero may mga iba, sabi nila, even more than a week, red pa rin ang skin nila. But we advise na do ice compress para mabilis mawala yung redness. And we can do cryotherapy. So, we will also do, be doing a cryotherapy for for Mark. Okay? Para mabilis lang pong mag-heal at mag-recover yung skin. And we also prescribe some uh, skin nutrients para mabilis yung repair ng ating skin. The good thing with those threads, they accelerate the repair system of our skin. Aside from uh, forming collagen or stimulating the collagen around the biocompatible threads, meron din siyang repair uh, stimulation. Okay, and the microcirculation is improved. So meron tayong neocollagenesis, microcirculation, repair tissue uh, acceleration for the improvement of the surface texture of our skin. So we wanted to achieve a 100% improvement eh. Kasi nung last time, we mentioned 70% uh -huh. improvement. Uh -huh. I think it's eight, nearing 80% uh -huh. na, no? Oh, pa 85% na as per Mark's uh, ano po, um, statement, okay? So yung ginagawa na lang natin is yung ibabaw na lang po. Take note, we started talaga po yung mga sunken po talagang depressed and malalim po. And we have seen yung mga back scar scars na napakahirap i-manage eh. Kasi yung mga types of scars na yon irregular yung sa sides nila or borders nila. Hindi man sila yung neat na round na round, pero may mga edges talaga na sharp, may edges na rough. And yun yung tinarget talaga natin. And we were able to make those edges uh, softer na pa pino po natin yung mga edges na yon kasi ngayon nakita ko talaga po naglift yung skin yung dun sa sunken scar talaga po nag elevate and for the next treatments we'll add some of our lasers again and we will be combining again with our uh, dermal fillers po kasi the last time he only did three sessions of dermal fillers he was supposed to have a post six month dermal filler okay although there is a dermal filler for acne scar that is permanent it's called Bellafill well, that's a United States product or hoping that we're gonna have it also here in the Philippines for those who wanted a permanent dermal filler. What we have in the Philippines at the moment are the um, non-permanent dermal fillers yet. Okay po. So, any other questions, Wala. Mark? Wala na. Okay, for that, we could probably share some message to our mga televiewers. My message is, of course, I would like to thank Doctora, pati yung mga staff niya for accommodating me. Thank you, Doc, dito sa battle natin, sa acne scars natin yeah. na ang tagal na natin silang nilalabanan at pa-improve sila ng pa-improve. So, yes. para sa mga viewers, I'd like to invite you to CSA. Nakikita nyo naman sa mga videos ni Doc kung gano'ng ka-efficient yung resulta ng mga ginagawa niya. Punta kayo dito kasi for sure hindi kayo magsisisi at uuwi kayo ng nakasmile. Thank you. Amen to that. Okay, salamat po. So, kung meron po kayong mga katanungan, you may email me at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com. I have my FB Messenger, Contessa Salvador Alapag, Instagram, doc underscore Contessa. Our website, www.csadermcentrate.org. Our clinic is located here at the second floor, Pure Gold Dao Building, Dao Macarthur Highway, Mabalakat, Pampanga. Contact numbers 045-331-1117 or 0933-860-9193. Sa inyo po na maraming mga questions po, uh, sometimes we are really so delayed right now with all the, the replies, yung pag-answer po ng mga tanong ninyo. So we ask for your patience po. Pasensya na po kayo. We really, really get fully booked every day here. Marami po kaming mga patients na rin po na coming from different parts of the world, visiting our center here in Pampanga. And um, we don't have a clinic yet in Manila. Marami po kasing nagtatanong if we have a Manila branch. Uh, we're praying about that. We don't know yet. Okay? So, sorry po dun sa mga nami-miss po namin yung inyong mga questions or yung mga inquiries through our uh, website, emails, or FB page. Pasensya na po. Pero we'll try our very best to uh, answer you. If you can resend your email, please do so. Okay, so thank you. Okay, wala na Mark. Salamat Mark. Kasi 
Uh, it's really a battle. You're, mm -hmm. you're saying that it's a battle against the acne scarring. And we have so many people out there na ito talaga yung nagiging ano nila eh. Uh, sobrang problem na nila for, I think, uh, for a long, long time. Nakaka-depress pa nga yan, look. Eh. And yeah, for some people, yeah, mayroong mga nadidepress, really going through tough times mm -hmm. na. Kasi other people, kasi parang uh, the way they look at you, it's really, really nakaka... For some people, nada-downgrade na pahiramdam. Nabubuli kasi daw. <laughs> Nabubuli, yeah. It, it's really so painful also. Mm. Is, so for some people, nakaka-ano talaga. Uh, ang tawag doon? Nakakadurog ng puso minsan self and nakakababa ng self-esteem. Parang you don't know yourself anymore and mm. you don't know what to do. And we, we have remedies for this po. So wag po kayong mag-alala. Just uh, hold on. Uh, sabi nga nila, kapag may buhay, may pag-asa. Mm -hmm. okay. Kasi I, I've known some people out there na talagang sobrang na-depressed po uh, just because of this mm -hmm. problem. So we hope we can help you with that. Uh, don't go through those uh, mga ano po mga treatments na baka lalong magworsen yung problem ninyo uh, actually you have to really consult mga medical professionals po for these kinds of treatments so ayan po isang simpleng mensahe sa inyong lahat maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagtangkilik sa aming mga episodes and yung, yung mga iba po namin mga videos we have them in our YouTube channel just type Contessa Salvador and please do not forget to click like and subscribe as well. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. God bless you all. When it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority.